Alright guys, welcome to another A2 tutorial and we are here today to learn how to install your minor image on an SD card and how to set up pools. Alright, first thing you need to do is to download the Win32 Disk Imager software. You can just Google it, go to the SourceForge website and download it here. There you go. I already installed it, so we go to the program, Image Writer. There you go, yes. You go to the image that you want to install. I use the overclock version 4.0. There you go, you click on write image file to device. It prompts uh, a little warning. So you would want to click yes. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So I click no. When it's uh, fully done, you just click exit. You take your SD card and put it in your miner. There you go. You go to the internet again. Type in the IP address of your miner. And there we are. It's automatically set to auto start, so it should be running. If it's not, sometimes it doesn't. You just click CG miner settings confirm. Alright, so you want to put in your own pool here uh, with the username and password, of course. Set up some additional backup pools um, so when one pool doesn't work anymore it automatically switches over to the next all right I use mining rig rentals as my first pool because I like that uh, when I'm not home I can still manage my pools put in the extra now subscription in the end there and that's it so you click CG settings confirm when you change this so you click you go to the real-time status monitor and you can see it's running at about 17 mega hash because currently it's at 1400 mega hash, mega megahertz. All right, you can go all the way down to 500 megahertz, which is the undervolt setting. So uh, if you choose that, make sure that you change the resistors on the board because otherwise it would still use a lot of energy. 1400, you can go up as high as that uh, currently anyway. But you do need to change again the voltage of the board otherwise you will get a lot of hardware errors you can see here that the, hard, the amount of hardware errors is pretty low right now three errors on 100 that is about three percent it will go down as uh, the longer it's on to about one percent so if you go to the stats tab you can see the temperature of each chip so it runs for fairly low temperature the first chip is about 34 and it runs up to about 50 and it changes quite a bit there we go. mobile information I never use it so that's it and you can put in the initial difficulty and you can go all the way up to 16,000 about 60,000 if you have a large machine I usually put it on 4,000 96. Oh, as you see here, I only have one blade, so there's only one line here. If you have six, you will have six underneath each other. But you know, I had a small miner, and my second one broke. I'm still trying to fix it, but that's why you only see one here. Right. That's it. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, please ask, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.